Hey guys, Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I absolutely love what I do. The reason why I love what I do is because of you. I got to interact with all kinds of business from all over the country. Um, actually, from different countries as well. And uh, I absolutely love to help business owners make sense of their finances and take their business to the next level. Today we're going to talk about a tool that has helped me a lot as an accountant, bookkeeper, uh, being able to send agreements to my cl clients where they can sign it has been very important because it not only protects me as an accountant, but it protects my client as well because it has the breakdown of all the things that I'm offering and it helps them understand what to expect um, and we, we both have an agreement of uh, what services we are offering and what services they expect. Uh, with that being said, uh, having to reinvent an agreement each time I send to my clients is not very productive. But with HoneyBook, you can actually store all your agreements and all your templates so you can just easily uh, modify what you need to modify and customize what you need to customize to each client and efficiently send it uh, the agreements and the breakdown of your projects to your clients so that they can sign it and process the payment right then and there. Once they process the payment, uh, HoneyBook integrates with QuickBooks and that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, now the integration is done through HoneyBook so it's not on QuickBooks but in HoneyBook. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to integrate. So we're going to go to HoneyBook right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. So um, we're going to go to HoneyBook. Here is the main page. Uh, when you log in to, to HoneyBook, uh, in this, you can go ahead and enter all your projects, your templates, as a matter of fact, when you first join HoneyBook, you can call them and they can help you uh, design and store your templates. So you can use and, and kind of walk you through on the different tools and different ways to use HoneyBook. So once it's all set up, you're sending your, um, you're sending your clients uh, the projects. Um, you can integrate HoneyBook with QuickBooks. So the way you do it, you click on the left-hand side picture of your company and then you go into company settings and on the left hand side you click on integration. Uh, HoneyBook integrates with several software including QuickBooks. See it has Facebook, uh, Zapier uh, and other tools that you can use uh, to market your project. Now uh, to connect with QuickBooks, you're just going to click on connect. Mine is already connected, so I'm not going to disconnect. So you're going to connect and log in to QuickBook from, from HoneyBooks, uh, from HoneyBook, QuickBooks from HoneyBook. <laughs> and uh, it will generate a sales receipt and a, not a deposit, but a sales receipt into QuickBooks. Now, when when the sales receipt is generated into QuickBook, it's going to be sent to undeposited funds. Now, there's still a couple of things that you need to do to complete that integration. That is, you need to record the bank fees that are charged uh, from the merchant service uh, through th that um, processes your, the credit card through HoneyBook, and then uh, you need to match it in, in banking. Now, keep in mind that if you don't match it in banking, all the information coming from this integration is going to be sitting on undeposited funds. Undeposited, undeposited funds is a clearance account, and money should come in and out. But in order to go out, you need to record the deposit into whatever bank account you're depositing the money to. So now we're going to go to QuickBooks and see how it works. So... On the left hand side, if you click on the plus new, you're going to click on bank deposits. That's where all the undeposited funds are waiting for you so you can record the deposit. Now, a couple of things about undeposited funds. You want to make sure that the amount that you record here will match what, what was deposited in banking. Like I mentioned before, there should be a $30 
uh, bank fee that is not recorded here on this deposit. So what we do, we will select the transaction. We'll make sure that the date of the deposit matches the date that we receive here. And we want to make sure that the bank account that is going to is the correct bank account. If not, you can select the right one. Now here, uh, if you scroll down uh, here at the, on the first page, it shows me uh, add funds to this deposit. This is where you're going to record the merchant fees or the bank fees. So I'm going to call receive from HoneyBook because they are the ones charging me the fee. And here I'm going to call it bank fees. You can put a description here. And on the amount, I'm going to put a negative amount because what this is doing is taking out of my deposit. So basically is doing a couple of things, taking out of my deposit so it can match in banking and it's recording an expense. So that's why it's negative, an expense into uh, bank fees, bank, uh, bank fees or merchant, merchant fees. Okay, so now my deposit matches whatever happened in banking. So I'm going to save a new because I have one more. I'm going I'm to do the next one. So I'm going to change the date here. The dates and the amount, are those are key information for you to match in banking. If this is not matching whatever happened in banking, it's not going to match and you're going to duplicate your income. You don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so HoneyBook here. And once again, big fees. And again, it's negative, but this time it's only $15 because it's a smaller deposit. Now, 485 I can do save and close because I have nothing else to do here. And um, and here, it, here are my transactions. When you match, you want to make sure you, you take a look at the dates and the amount. It, especially if you if you have multiple clients that you charge the same thing you can even click on the transaction and click on the deposit it will open up the deposit and then from here if you click on customer it's going to open up that invoice or the sales receipt with all the detail of that sale if you want to make sure that this is the right one this is the right one i know for sure so i can click on match yay and same thing with this one click on match and this is it simple like that so I was able to record the deposit and it's going to show in my bank as only one transaction right that's why we match all right I hope this information was useful to you if you like this video please share with your co-workers with your friends and give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel we like to bring videos like this on a constant basis to help you understand QuickBooks Online and make sense of your finances so you can take your business to the next level. If you need more help, feel free to contact us. We do, you, you can hire us so we can help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, so feel free to uh, con connect, connect with us. We're also going to put a discount for Honey Books down below. So if you, Honey Book, <laughs> if, you, if you want to sign up for Honey Book, the um, discount code that I have down down below, the link below, is going to give you 50% discount. So it's usually $40 a month, but with the discount, it's going to be only $20. So follow that link down below to get your discount and also support our channel. And I hope to see you soon. <laughs> but until next time, keep on smiling. Nice job.